Okay, geometry. For skill two this week, it's all vocabulary. So we're going to talk about and remind ourselves about corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, and consecutive interior angles. These all occur when we have two lines in a diagram, and then there's a third line called a transversal that goes through them. Now, this screen might be kind of hard to see, but if you pause the video, you could take a couple of notes before starting the skill. I'm, however, going to move on to another page that should be easier to see, but all the information is right here in one slide if you'd like to pause and write that down. So I've drawn a diagram with two lines and then a transversal. I've numbered all eight angles. Now, we just talked about in the previous skill, linear pairs and vertical angles. And there's lots of those in the diagram. But there's also other types of angles. For example, if one angle in this group is in the same position as one of the angles in this group, we call those corresponding angles. Angle one, it's on the top left. Angle five, it's on the top left. They are corresponding angles. There are some other corresponding angles in the diagram. Two and six, three, and seven, four, and eight. So there is a total of four pairs of corresponding angles. Now, there are also other angle pairs. The next one I'll talk about is alternate exterior angles. Angle one is on the outer portion of the diagram, towards the outside. Angle eight is also towards the outside. Notice that one is on the left of the transversal and one is on the right. They are on alternate sides. So one and eight, they're called alternate exterior angles. There's only one other pair of alternate exterior angles and that's seven, I'm sorry, two, and seven. Now the next type we'll talk about are alternate interior angles. Three and six are on the left and right of the transversal, but they're on the inner portion of the diagram. So they're called alternate interior angles. There's also only one other pair of those and that's angle four and angle five. The last type of angle that we're going to look at is called consecutive interior. Consecutive means that it's basically right next to the other one, but it's not adjacent. Interior, they're still on the inside. And so three and five, they are consecutive interior angles. Four and six are also consecutive interior angles. Those are sometimes referred to as same side interior angles as they will be on the same side of the transversal. So when we look at the skill questions, you're gonna notice there's no math, it's all just vocabulary. So the first question says, name some that are vertical. That's not even the new material. That goes back to the previous skill. I'll tell you that most of the questions are going to have one angle in common for the answer. So focus on that one first. For example, GHK 
is right here. And I need to pick which angle would be vertical to that. So that means across from it. And that would be FHI. They've called it IHF. Remember that you can switch the order as long as the angle itself is the middle letter. These are like multiple choice questions in this skill. I simply click and submit. This one is also asking for vertical angles, so let's try to find one that asks for one of our others. So here we go, here is a question asking me for corresponding angles. Notice that the four answers all use D, E, H, so let's focus on that angle. So D, E, H is right here. Remember that corresponding angles have to be in the same position. In this group of angles, DEH is towards the upper left-hand portion. So in this group of angles, I need the one on the upper left-hand portion. I'm going to need this one right here, which I can either call GHJ or JHG, and it looks like they've called it GHJ. So that's going to be our answer. So we'll select that and just verify that we got it correct. The next one is asking for some alternate exterior angles. The uh, question this time is a bit more challenging because notice that none of them match up. So you're really going to have to take your time. What you could do though is just identify one of them yourself. So I know, I'm going to mark one of them in red, that for alternate exterior, I'm on the outside, and I have one on each side of the transversal. This is one of them, and it would match up with this one down here. I'll grab a different color, and then the other one that's on the outside would match up with this one down here. So now I can just figure out which answer works. Do I have CDB? I do. Does it match up with IGH or HGI? It does. So fortunately, I didn't have to look very hard. It ended up being our first option. But there you go. So those can take a little bit of time only because they didn't help speed up the process by giving you the same one. So sometimes multiple choice is actually a little bit harder than just naming two angles if you would have to do that, for example. But there you go. So guys, that should be more than enough to get you through these. Obviously, I didn't do an example of every single one, but if you go back to the page where all four are listed, you should be able to have yourself a visual example for each one. Take note of that, and I think you'll get through this skill. We got one more left. I'll see you in the final video for the week.